Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is John Patton and today we are taking a walk through this year's Adventure Van Expo that took place in Belmont, New Hampshire. Before I get into things, there will be links down in the video description for you to check out all of the stuff that I mentioned. When you walk in, you're greeted by an RV retailer called Gretsch RV. Their display vans had about four inches of ground clearance and they're more of an RV and thus did not classify as adventure vans in my book. So I moved on to the Midland booth. Nick from Midland walked me through the sort of minimal setup with these two units, the MXT 275 and 575 that use the GMRS system for communication and can even be connected to their handheld two-way radios. Great stuff for comms. From there, I moved on to Timberline and learned about their hydronic heating system. This bed, Larry, will not only heat your water, but it will also work for your in-floor radiant heating system. That is definitely on the list for my van. Moving on from there, Mainline Overland, who are retailers in the Overland space, unsurprisingly. They had a huge variety of stuff for sale, including recovery gear, 12 volt fridges, and a bunch more. Plus, I got along with the puppies. Then I swung by Rome Rig and learned about their audio upgrades for VS30 Sprinters. It's impossible to demonstrate this on video, but holy crap. This is a must have for anyone with one of these vans. The factory audio is trash. This is an easy install and significantly improves the sound quality. I then linked up with Flare Space and took a look at their new Mega Flares. This setup is installed on a Ford Transit and they will be releasing the Sprinter versions in the coming weeks. And again, this is a must have for me. They add eight inches of space horizontally to the van. As a big dude, I am not small. <laughs> Having extra space in the van is a very positive thing. I can't wait to see this Sprinter version. The 170 is gonna look amazing. Storyteller Overland was there as well. They're the title sponsor and I got to check out their new, soon to be sold to everyone, non-winch bumper for sprinters. Big shout out to Ryan, Tanner, and Evan for the warm welcome into the van culture. Also big shout out to Oscar from Canyon Adventure Vans. They were showing off a new shower curtain system for the Winnebago Revel that allows for more elbow room. It kind of slides out of the top and magnetizes to the bottom. It's really slick. Also, they have a cool rear lounge conversion for both the Revel and Storytellers. And then you have Defiance Tools, who had this super cool barbecue multi-tool on display. Seems like a neat way to keep everything well organized and has a bunch of tools rolled into one. Next down the road is a brand called Live Little, who are showing off their building skills in a few different vans, like this 170 wheelbase Sprinter and a couple others. Very nice. Built for the East was also there to talk off-road upgrades. Vancher Customs out of Philly was showing off their Dodge Promaster base builds. And then we got to see stuff from Exploration Vans, including this beautiful 170 Sprinter with custom bamboo interior. This was probably my favorite build out of the event, even though I couldn't fit my shoulders in there sideways. It just, I could not walk straight down that. I had to do this thing. Yeah, yeah, it's great. They also had a partial build out for a customer that featured what they call a rear bathtub, which would work for a bunch of different purposes and could hold up to something like 500 pounds. And uh, that was kind of it. It was a very small show, way smaller than I expected. If I had some feedback for the organizers, it would be to put signs on the road so people like me aren't aimlessly driving around. I had no idea where I was going. It's just a dirt road, <laughs> okay. And I also paid for a ticket and no one ever asked for it. So I could have just like walked in there for free. And while the live music was charming, it made it impossible to create content without loud music in the background. And that was a letdown for me personally. I was really hoping to work with brands, build relationships and show that stuff off to you guys. But with the way YouTube is about music, couldn't do it, can't do it. It's all, it was in the background of like, it was, it was everywhere. I also found it very disappointing to see a few brands listed as sponsors that had no physical presence at all, so I couldn't talk to them. That was a, a little bit of a letdown. On the flip side, I did get a chance to meet some really amazing people. These, these guys seem awesome, they're super welcoming, everybody was, and I was building relationships and soaking in knowledge while I was there, and that's awesome. 
and that made it worth the seven-ish hour drive for me. I'm very excited to see more of these folks and hopefully some of you guys out there watching at Overland Expo Mountain West in just a few weeks. And that's it guys. If you want to see more videos like this one, please do me a favor and grab yourself some fresh roasted small batch coffee from Blackout Coffee using my link in the video description. And of course, of course, get subscribed to stay tuned to not only my build out, but also van culture stuff just like this. As always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon.